Hey, that's the Cooper plan here in Paddler's Cove by Dan Ryan Builders. And stick around to the end. Roger and I shot a video on that. And I am here with Roger Holloway. And we are doing a tour of this community. Lake Wiley is an up and coming area, is it not, Roger? Well, I mean, you and I both looked for an opportunity to grab lunch on the lake, sitting right out on the patio at Papa Doc's Shore Club. You come down Tryon Street, 49 past the Palisades, and you're right there. Good place to fill up on gas. It's a quick trip. Great place to have lunch. And then here we are, 60 degrees on a January day. What, what kind of home uh, inventory do they have out here? You know, Roger, they have seven homes, seven that are at or near completion here in Paddler's Cove. And I'll tell you, by comparison to, you know, maybe you're in a community waiting on a lot to open up, and then you've got the build time that can easily turn in from, you know, 12, 15, 18 months. Why not buy a home that's already built? Well, you're talking about a, a client that you just had that uh, that was an option. And what you're saying when you called me today and said, by the way, I've discovered the new lots, the new specs. Uh, tell us a little history about Dan Ryan. You know, Dan Ryan was uh, part of Fielding Homes, and Fielding was part of Crescent. You know, I used to be with Crescent years ago. And Fielding was our charming builder, and through acquisition, uh, Dan Ryan took over Fielding. But uh, hats off to Dan Ryan as they had the wisdom to keep some of the you know, nice appointments and amenities within the homes. And I think they build a really nice product. Well, the gorilla in the room is we're on Lake Wiley and Lake Wiley was uh, formed from the Catawba River in 1904 to uh, harness power. So we've got Duke Energy headquartered here. Uh, James Buchanan Duke started Duke Energy. And before it was even Duke, Southern Power was headed by Doc Wiley. So here we are on Lake Wiley, the first one of those three lakes. And so, yes, you're going to have to have the beauty and the amenities of the mighty Catawba River and the lake, yeah, you're gonna have some power lines. So what do you do when somebody says, I want this, I don't want that relative to the lot uh, or the orientation or the state, how do you deal with that? Yeah, so to me, it's always two questions. You know, what is it about the power lines you're not a fan of? I don't like the looks of them or I'm worried about my health. So, you know, the great news is the homes that they have, some of them are away from the power lines. So they're not right on the power lines. And I'll tell you, Roger, the location in itself, because you're right up here next to 49, you've got every imaginable resource super walmart lowe's banks shopping center and new ymca and you're not far from 485 and uptown charlotte well and and the cool thing is instead of going into uh, a model home like this and getting wowed and be dazzled by the amazing agents that work for the seller you represent the best interest of only the buyer and you can help them here at Paddler's Cove, but you can help them wherever else, right? That's so true. And you know, it's, it's critical that you reach out to me or Roger first before uh, contacting any builder. Um, you know, one of the questions I used to get when I was on site, Roger, is do I get a better deal without an agent? And the simple answer is no. You're paying for our service, my commission, either way, whether you have an agent or not. A lot of people don't realize that. Well, so you've you've brokered loans, so you know the loan process very well. You've worked for builders and developers, so you know the process of having the seller's best interest at heart. And now you're representing buyers. Uh, I know you help sell homes too in North and South Carolina, but in your in your long and storied career, what is the best advice you could give somebody thinking about relocating to Charlotte? Yeah, you know, and it, it all starts with, you know, what I call the B word now, where's your budget and what are some of your must haves? And, you know, really aside from that location, you know, what makes a good location? Well, a good location to me may be different than you. I might have to fly once a week, so I need to be near an airport or I may work uptown or, you know, I've got to be near shopping, schools, taxes. So I help identify that for clients. And I'll tell you, Roger, when I do get them on site, a lot of the on site reps I've known and for many years and worked with before, they are so happy to see me or any of your team because they know we know what we're doing. Well, I'll I tell you what I love about Rodney Jones, man. I've seen you provide your area orientation. I'm not going to tell any more about it and tip any hands and prep any other agents, but you know how 
to orient people to the area that have no idea. You have a, a, an unusual way of doing that, and it really helps people come into the area. You know, I do, Roger, and I do some of that ahead of time, but most of the time I wait till they get here because I, I even heard this comment this past weekend. Wow, online it looked one way, and when we got here it looked the other. And that goes both ways. It looked better online, it looked worse online, and, you know, until you actually get here and see things, it's, it's kind of a, a hard call. One thing I enjoy working with you on is that if you have somebody that identifies maybe a particular lot or a neighborhood or a house, that you'll call me and say, hey, can you go shoot that for them and uh, give them a better feel? And have, we found that that's helpful in the process. It's an invaluable service, and we're the only ones that I know of that are doing that. For example, we've got people right now in Chicago, Illinois, and they were like, hey, you think Roger would be available to go and video the progress on our home? We think the brick has just now gone up, and they're about to install cabinets, and uh, Roger found the time. We went and shot that, and you know they are so happy because they're miles away. Well, not only that, while they're in process, but on, on the way to purchase, um, I'll do that once or twice by request, but if somebody says, hey, we're trying to buy, and we, we like either lot 10 or lot 15, and you've weighed in on it, you do a FaceTime, but when we go and actually shoot the actual lot, something they can look at over and over, that's helpful. Huge. It is a huge benefit, no doubt. So, and I'll tell you, that's one of the things too. The on-site reps and the builders both are like, you know, it's so great to see you guys because you guys really know what you're doing. Well, I think they recognize that we have the best interest of, of the buyer and, and that makes them their job really easier. So what's a good number to call you and what services all do you provide, Roger? Yeah, so, you know, Roger, I'm gonna give my number 704-202-7460. They can call or text. And I sell new homes, but I also sell resale homes and I list and sell homes. And not only do I do that in North Carolina, I do that in South Carolina again. And just in case you missed it the first time, my number is 704-202-7460. Call me, call Jack the Real Estate Dog, and, uh, you know, Roger, we'll, we'll get together. Sounds good, man. Yeah, Jack and I would love to meet with you guys as well. So, guys, again, give Rodney a call. Hit subscribe if you like our vibe. Couple that with that phone call to Rodney at 704-202-7460, and we'll see you in the next video. We're on location at Lake Wiley, South Carolina, just across the North Carolina state line, and we'd love to talk to you soon.